Hey guys, my name is Bastien and here with me is a Rex gymnast who plays support for Avant at Ascension. They have just qualified to play at Gold Coast Supernova and we're just going to have a chat so you can get to know them a little bit better. So first of all, how did you start playing league and what made you go pro? Um, I guess it first started when I played Dota. Um, I was actually living in Malaysia at the time, so I was playing on the Southeast Asian Karina service and then uh, I know when league came out, a friend told me about it and I transitioned over. And um, yeah, I don't know, I just climbed solo queue and I don't know, I started getting into teams because that's that's just what you do, I guess. Playing the game in like a competitive fives environment is a lot more different than solo queue and I think it's a lot more fun. So, playing competitive is a lot more fun, so just like, yeah. So the whole scene of competitive play is what keeps you motivated to keep playing, you just thrive in that kind of an atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Um, like playing with four random people in solo queue isn't isn't as great as playing with like five teammates that you know and like you can trust them and like uh, yeah you can yeah it's just a lot of better you get um, high quality games I think especially like with communication obviously um, so in a high quality game is um, just conducive to like more fun I guess and so it just keeps you motivated to keep wanting to improve definitely a way to look at it if that's what motivates you then that's great yeah it's a lot harder for most yeah, people yeah. like, they kind of get into that mindset you know so it's really great I, I almost find it like hard to understand the ranked anxiety um, whole mindset. Like, I just kind of like go for it and try and do my best. I guess, yeah. I have horrible ranked anxiety, so I don't even know how you can have that mindset. But it's obviously great. It works for you, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you awesome. find it hard to have a balance between your life commitments or like real life commitments than your like pro gaming commitments as well? Um. Not really, I guess. Like, obviously, real life commitments, like family, friends, and our uh, uni, and whatnot, take uh, precedence. So it's like they come first. But then, I know in your spare time, any spare time I've got, I like to use it to like kind of improve. And so, as long as you've got like set sort of guidelines, it's it's really easy to just like like this comes first, and then league comes second, obviously. But like, yeah, yeah, I don't find it difficult that much. Roughly, do you have any idea how much time you might put into practicing and improving your gameplay? Um. Uh, in terms of hours, I'd, I'd, I'd have no idea, I guess. Like, I play quite a bit, so um, just in like my free time, if I'm not doing anything, I guess I just try hop on league and practice, and like, even even solo queue is good practice, just even mechanically. So, yeah, I don't know in terms of hours, but a lot, I guess. Yep. Uh, so, your whole, all whole team being flown to the Gold Coast is never to compete in the event. It's going to be your first press. Event that you're all going to be at to play with each other. Is it going to be a new thing? Are you looking forward to having your teammates sitting next to you? Yeah, um, it's definitely going to be a new thing. Like I've only ever played online, and I, I haven't even like met my teammates before in real life, so um, we just know each other from online. Yeah, so it'll, it'll de definitely be interesting, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. So um, there's been a lot of changes to support this season. Um, has that affected your play style at all? Um, playstyle probably not, but uh, the supports like with the season four changes, obviously supports got a lot more gold. So um, a lot of uh, new champions, I guess. So it affected my playstyle in that I played, picked up new champions because they came viable and more counters changed as the the meta shifts. Like I know, like recently, um, you've seen with the Annie Thresh Leona meta in support, and then Morgana came along and just started becoming like the, a must pick or ban sort of thing. And now you're seeing like less CC based supports like Sona and Karma. Even Soraka and Zillion, that sort of stuff. You see that, um, like, the, there would be like sort of really out there picks that you couldn't pick before. But now that, um, like, Morgana's become the the big thing, um, yeah. So I guess, yeah, you get more gold. So there's like, there's a lot more to do, I guess. And yeah, you, you sort of have a bigger impact. But I don't think my playstyle has changed too much. And lastly, who's the duo lane to beat at Manuvo? Um, I'm gonna have to say Radio and Rosie definitely um, from Team Immunity. They're statistically like the best t uh, bot lane in Oceana, they've had the best results and uh, I guess we have the worst results against them in relation to other teams, so uh, yeah, definitely hopefully we'll put on a good showing and we'll play well against them then, it should be good. Okay, awesome. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed getting to know uh, Erect Gymnast a little bit better today. Thank you for watching. You can follow us on Twitter and be sure to look out for a bunt at Supernova.